Hello, Capricorn. So great to be back with you. This is going to be part two, uh, a timeless reading uh, from Capricorn. And on part one, Capricorn, I believe the title says this love is meant to be. I believe that's what it says. Sending blessings to everyone internationally, uh, here in the USA, and all over the world. I want to welcome my new subscribers. Thank you and welcome to the family. Uh, and I want to send a shout out to my loyal subscribers. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me. It is greatly appreciated. I also want to thank you guys for liking the video. Um, when the video resonates with you, just, you know, making that confirmation, giving a like. Thank you so much uh, for engaging. Um, I want to thank you guys for your comment. Thank you so much. It was It's really fun <laughs> listening to you guys um your stories, your trials, your tribulation, your joyful moments, your happy, um, joyful moments. Thank you for letting me know this. It warms my heart uh, to know that the readings are resonating with some of you. Okay. Thank you so much. It may not resonate with all However, you know, there's other videos, too, that you guys can check out. These are timeless. So the moment you click on this video or any video, it is meant for you to hear. So be not discouraged. Fret not. But I am doing Capricorn. And from part one, it's called This Love is Meant to Be angel divine protection and in part one we talked about how your wish is coming true i believe the wish card came out in that uh reading part one um also you standing your grounds but overall just topping it off with the lovers uh energy coming through the soul the the twin flame energy uh, coming through as well in part one. So it evolved into a very beautiful um, ending and to also know that you have that angelic divine protection uh, around your space, around your energy. Okay, now we are going to be doing part two of that. So Let's get started, guys. Let's see what the messages are uh, from spirit. Let's go a little bit deeper about how this love is meant to be. Let's see what other messages spirit has. Now, remember in part one, we did see the man holding a coin, whether man or woman, it goes by how it resonates with you. Um, so we did see that. So let's see what the energies are uh, for part two of Capricorn. And remember, just kind of bring these, these uh, part one and part two, uh, merge them together so that you can get the full picture of what spirit is saying. So Spirit, we ask that you give us more insight in regards to Capricorn's journey. And what else do they need to know? Okay, Capricorn. Okay, so we have broken heart. This is an energy that's being pulled but it's a broken heart it's like a split right down that middle there
but is being healed. Now, right away, I'm seeing heart surgery. Okay, so, yeah, I'm seeing something with heart surgery here and how it's stitch, like there's stitches. Okay, so in the physical, Spirit is showing me heart surgery. Now, why Spirit is showing me heart surgery? I don't know. I, I feel also this surgery has a lot to do with your inner spirit as well. I, I feel like it's symbolic to a certain extent. So let, let me get past this, this. To go deeper, also Spirit is saying that your heart is being mended. Your heart is being mended, being pulled together. Even though you may have felt that it's been broken, spirit is working on your heart. Financial constraints. Now, I believe I seen that in part one, financial constraints. In number 13, that's interesting. Also, number 13 represents the death card. That's the death card number as well. And with death, that's transformation also. So this financial constraints, I get a feel that there is going to be some type of change in this as well. I believe I pulled this corn, corn eucopia. Okay. There it is right there, Capricorn. Fin that number 13. I seen change, financial change, like you're entering into something uh, more prosperous. I feel abundance here. So I feel for you, Capricorn, there's going to be abundance all the way around here. Okay? There's going to be harvest and abundance here. This is a prediction within the reading. Prediction within the reading. So this is confirmation. This is blossoming abundance. So if those of you have been going through some type of physical challenge, this even also with health as well, it may have affected you financially as well. Also, Spirit is saying that a door is going to be opening up for you and bringing in financial abundance, but abundance all the way around physically, spiritually and financially. OK, financial. OK, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Capricorn. Wow. Let's move a little bit further here. Stay tuned to the end of the reading. I will be pulling, doing some charms. And you guys have been letting me know. You guys have been <laughs> coming out with some unscrambling words. And in those words, spirit has a message for you when we go to the end. Okay, so wow, it's something. Okay, so let's start with the main situation for you, Capricorn. And right here, Capricorn, we have a fire sign coming up. Doesn't mean it has to be a fire sign. However, they could have a little bit of fire in their chart. Um, so we have the Prince of Staffs, whether it's Prince or Princes. We have an um, energy here with a lot of fire and passion here. So let's see what's behind you. So this has to be that soulmate. I mean, I'm sorry, that twin flame energy I seen with the lover's card. This could be that significant other that's coming up. Um, now you have this broken heart here, but spirit is saying that there is a mending and a healing of the heart. So there may have been... Um, 
a situation broke your heart. I'm not sure if it's this fire sign. Could be another situation. If it's not this energy here, and if this energy has bringing you fulfillment and happiness, this is the now. That means to someone in your past or something you went through in the past that broke your heart. We have Venus. So we have the planet of love here. We have, it says Venus here. Look at that. And we have balancing. And this is temperance. This is temperance here. So we also have these these energies here and you see how they're united together so it's bringing a sense of balance here hmm. let's see what's over you six of cups we have the nostalgia card so there's a period of your life that you're longing to go back to you're longing to have this fulfillment, something you felt like you lost in your past, but you're trying to get it back again. We have the Three of Cups, and I believe in the last reading, there was community. There was community in part one of Capricorn, and this is a bringing together. This is something uh, some type of occasion, some type of celebration, some type of happiness. Okay, so that is beneath you. It feels like something good is coming your way or about to happen. I see quite a few good things happening here, uh, Capricorn, in this reading. Desire. Hmm. And this is actually the chariot. You know, I would think these this was the lovers, but this is the chariot. Hmm. So this is a major arcana here, but we have this embracing here with the chariot. So it speaks about uh, a desire, but also we know that the chariot is about moving on that desire. Moving on that desire, Spirit is saying. Wow. Now, even that message right there, and what I'm getting with moving on your desire, it feels like some things have been kind of held inside. But it feels like you're going to take a risk. You're going to move on this desire. For some of you, I feel like you've been kind of reluctant kind of move or even afraid to move on this energy but I get a sense that you're feeling so much happiness I feel like it's about to burst okay for some of you judgment hmm so when I look at judgment here and you've got this person here kind of talking feel like this is this admirer looking up yeah for some of you I feel like there's there's a new what is this this is part of her hair is this a, that story about the woman let down your hair what is that story let me know put it in the comment section but look at her hair here she has long hair and I feel like this is that story this is telling that story about let down your hair. Okay, look, sometimes I go off on it, go off in on cloud 21 sometimes, but for some reason, if it comes to me, there's a message with that. It's something about the hair. Rapunzel, let down your hair, but wasn't that about a love story? Let me know in the comment section. I know you guys know. Let me know, but it's something connected to that story, the reason why I'm seeing it, okay? When Spirit is showing me, and I'm seeing part of her hair here. Um, so, obviously, her hair is really, really long. Forgive me, guys. Forgive me, because I'm, like, hearing all these messages here. Now, there is somebody in to hair. 
someone is either in something about beauty and hair I'm seeing from this card. Mm. For some of you, there's something about beauty in hair. Something about beauty in hair and long, very long hair I'm seeing. I don't know, is there going to be a connection with your hair and the person you love? Wow, maybe they are going to admire your hair. Wow, that could be what draws them to you is something about your hair or the color of your hair. Wow, look at that. It feels like I, I'm feeling some connection here with beauty and the hair. But you guys put it in the comment section because somebody might have mentioned your hair, a significant other. They might have mentioned your hair, told you how beautiful your hair is. But it's connected to the story of, what is it, Rapunzel? Let down your hair. It's, I don't know the other part to that, but there's a connection to that. Okay, so we have the chariot here and we have the person talking to her on the balcony okay relaying a message to her so there's something with messages and there's also something with distance here as well you guys okay need I say more need I say more here this is this I don't need to say any more, but I am going to say any more. Okay. That is the lover's card. That is the lover's card, Capricorn. This is really, really, really serious here. And the reason why I say is serious is because how the cards are falling into place, how the messages are coming out to whomever this is resonating with this timeless reading is resonating with it. the moment you click on this video but there is a powerful message in this reading and the reason why I say that is because for those of you who have been discouraged are kind of going through challenges in a situation and maybe will be maybe you're walking by sight by the things that you see um, and your faith is, is wavering a bit. But I'm really, really led to tell you not to fret, not to fret, not to be discouraged and think whatever you're going through, this is what it is. Because you, Spirit is saying, look at the symbols and look at the signs. Okay? Do not ignore them. Because the season is coming. Your heart's desire, your wish will be granted to you. Your heart's desire will be granted to you. If you haven't listened to part one, listen to it. Because a lot of messages are falling into place. This is the twin flame card, I call it. This is the lover's card, okay? And remember, I just spoke a moment ago something about Rapunzel for some of you there's many messages not just one something about Rapunzel Rapunzel I hear let down your hair please someone finish that off for me what did that story mean because something with that story spirit is saying there's a message for you but also someone is something about their hair something about the hair the sign will be when someone compliments you on your hair you will know who this person is the confirmation and the sign will be the person who admires your hair the person who runs their hands through your hair and say I love your hair your hair is so beautiful it's something about your hair okay but also some of you could be into beauty. Beauty as well. Something about beauty is connecting to the finances. Not the financial restraints, 
but is connecting to the cornucopia and the blossoming abundance. Something about the beauty, the hair. Someone has been thinking about should they get into this? Maybe it's something going on with the confidence. Maybe. But, you know, kind of doubting themselves and doubting their ability. And what Spirit is saying is this door is going to bring much abundance for you. Let me know who that is. Write it in the comment section here. So there's there's quite a few messages, and I know that's not really about love, but it is in a way because it's about your financial uh, situation um, and prosperity and increase, and you never know. You may meet your guy, your special someone in on that path somehow, some way. You just never know how you're going to meet that special someone. But this is really, really good. Really good. So let me move a little bit further here. I usually throw down a couple of Doreen Virtue cards. But right, this reading is really good. I really don't need to throw them down, the Doreen Virtue cards. But I will. I'll throw a couple of them down. Reconciliation, okay, that may resonate with you, you guys, someone is uniting to be together, it is safe for you to love, children, children may be involved and have a lot to do with a relationship, could be a desire to have a family, could be someone you met from a past life or in your past worth waiting for okay so those are the messages with the uh, Doreen uh, virtue um, romance angels and what we're going to do now we're going to do the charms I'm just going to take a few out and just kind of throw them up a little bit. I'm going to take a few out and then I'm going to take some out. And what, when we do the charms, we're getting more confirmation from the reading what other messages are coming out that will relate to your situation. Okay. We have an S that fell out. We have also a feather that fell out. Ooh. Wait. Okay. Let me get some letters. Ooh. Oh, there's my owl. From my ring, it broke. I made a charm out of that. Okay. This is a. Uh, very big owl here. Put some more letters out. Okay, so we got the owl here. And as you know, the owl may resonate with you in some way. I'm going to say this is representing a child. I'm not really sure. This is actually some type of character. But whoever knows what this is, let me know. But it may connect with you in a special way. Whoever knows, I believe this is some type of cartoon character or some type of character here. It looks familiar. 
uh, we have two owls coming. So we have a huge owl and we have a smaller owl. So uh, sometimes in, in the, I believe the, um, the Leonard Mind, the owl means talking and gossip. Okay. In some forms, the owl means wisdom and guidance. Okay. Um, we have the yin and the yang, the merging together, and we did see the lovers. We did see the twin flame energy come out there, and we seen the key. Wow, look at that. We, and with the heart. It's a key with the heart. Ah, someone is holding a key to someone's heart. We have the feather here. Now, I find this very interesting with the feather because it's like, the you know, when we see the feathers floating around, it's like a sign when we see them floating. It's like spirit is saying something. So I feel like this is spirit communicating with many of you. But a feather may mean something to you as an individual. Let me know in the comment section. Every symbol may mean something to you that we have here. So let's get these words. Oh, a lot of you guys have been spelling out a lot of stuff that I didn't quite spell out. So I don't want to be all day with the video. But we have S, Y, C. L A Okay A S as L Y C C O no C no S A this could be someone initials S A C L Y S A C L Y or however you guys can bring it together. This may be um, another subliminal message mixed up. Um, something I may not catch. Um, but you guys have been spelling these words out and they actually would be than a word and, and and it's amazing the messages that come out of here so we have the three of cups we had that three of cups in the reading remember that celebration we have the wish card coming out we have the nine of cups we have the nostalgia a lot of cups are in this reading and this reading definitely about twin flame love you oh it's just so many messages come out in this reading so many symbolism and symbolic messages we have the ace of wands we had the chariot come through so it feels like if something has been on hold there's going to be a big breakthrough unexpected breakthrough um, but we have the ace of wands it speaks about action we have the high priestess here. You notice I skipped over that ugly devil with the horns? Yes, I did. Um, this you have to be careful. This devil. You know, this feels like some type of energy that you have to be prepared for. Whether this energy is envy, jealousy, um, some type of addiction, but this energy is lurking. So you got to be careful not to fall. It could be the ex. Okay. If it was a bad situation and the person's getting on your nerve, this is that energy. But spirit is saying with the high priestess, follow your intuition, follow your spirit guide. And also it feels like your intuition is going to be enhanced and you're going to be more sensitive to be able to pick up on this energy. Okay? So your intuition is sort of like your warning. Your lamp. Your lamp in darkness. Okay? So, wow. 
this is one heck of a reading uh capricorn if this reading resonates with you let me know i'm excited to hear put it in the comment section also tell me how um also give this video a like if it resonates with you remember to like the video um it lets me know that you're in agreement um with and it resonates with you in some way and also remember to share the video and if you would like a reading oh the magnify app i wanted to tell you um no the instant go app i'm on that i leave the links in the description it is also for android now it is open to Android. It's rolled out finally. The Instant Go app is also for Android, okay? So whoever has an Android phone, remember you can contact me on the Instant Go app. Go to the gameplay where all the apps are and download it. Uh, put in Tara One Love Coach. Yes, you can get me on the app. On the Magnify app is also on Android and iPhone. Um, you get 10 minutes free added to your call you got to do send me a message and i will apply those 10 minutes for you so looking forward to hear it from you guys until next time god bless you